Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Kame House Party, the podcast that is the world's best, greatest, and only improv comedy watch along podcast where we attempt to watch every episode and iteration of Dragon Ball. We come onto the podcast and talk about it in a way that only we can. And who's the we? One of those we's is me. I'm Vince. I'm the other we. <laughs> I'm, we, we, you might say. Uh, I'm Aaron. We. Uh, that is affirmative in French. Um, <laughs> and we've got another great episode of Dragon Ball Z to talk about. But before we get real into quick, all... Real yeah. quick. Real uh, quick. In Terminator 2, when they dubbed it, instead of saying affirmative, do you think Arnold said... They had someone who sounded like Arnold say, we. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. They, the French would never, would never uh, allow for like that character to say, like in an American accent, affirmative. So it, it'd have to be we. Oui. Affirmative. I don't know. Affirmative. <laughs> you French <laughs> listeners, you let us know. Oh, I probably made them all sick. <laughs> what's what's the Terminator sound like in France? <laughs> uh, look, we we can't. Talk about what the Terminator sounds like in France or French. If you're a French listener, you want to tell us how Goku, Vegeta, and the like sound in, in French. I would love to hear that. I really would. Um, but Aaron, what I what I know they love to hear is the formality that comes with this podcast. Because mm -hmm. before we get into the episode, we've got some stuff that we got to get to first. That stuff is called Kame Housekeeping. We've got to get to the first piece of comedy housekeeping, which is the UN sanctioned world famous one minute roundup uh, teeth chattering sound. Oh no, I made such a mess in the joke shop. All the clattering teeth are, are everywhere. The joy, the joy buzzers are askew. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. <sighs> oh no. You sure you're not playing a prank on me? This isn't some kind of prank you're playing in the joke shop. What no, no, I'd never joke around in the joke shop. I'm I I trip look, we had the banana peel display mm -hmm. that you set up immaculately. I set up that end cap this morning at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. I wanted I nothing more than to see banana peels. Right there when you check out a Jester's Japes and Jokes. Look, at Triple J, we take things very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and seed. Seed. Oh, I set no. us up for failure. <laughs> but no, I shop. wanted to live in. No, I wanted <laughs> to live in serious joke shop for so long. But we can't. <laughs> We can't, because when one of us breaks, that's the end of our little improvised warm-up scene that loosens or tightens our muscles for whatever our uh, conversation about this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z will require from us, because we like we like to make them ups. Um, and now, with that out of the way, we can get into the one-minute roundup proper, where one of us, this time Aaron, has oh, no. 60 seconds. That's one entire minute, uh, which would be like what? A hundred days in the time chamber? Who knows? I can't do that math because there is no math to do. Aaron, <laughs> you have one minute to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z up until this point. That's like 300 episodes total. I'll leave it to you whether you want to throw in like the, the movies that we've done or any of the OVAs that we've covered. But we do that. So you, the listener, don't have to go back and listen to every single episode of the podcast or watch every single episode of the show to get a sense of where we are, to understand what we're talking about. And now that I've gotten all that out of the way, and Aaron, hopefully the butterflies have left your little tummy, we can, we, I can ask you this one question, this very important question. Are you ready to round up? I think eagle-eared listeners will let us know. I think it's been several months have I done this, but yes, I am ready, and here we go. Dragon Ball is about seven magic crystal balls. You collect them all, you get any wish you want, and it stars Goku. He's the main protagonist. Yeah, he, he does karate. Uh, he tried to find some Dragon Balls with his friends. 
he stopped a bunch of people from using the Dragon Balls for evil purposes. He he got better at karate, entered three different karate tournaments. Uh, he finally won the last one. Uh, he saved the world multiple occasions uh, from the Demon King, like twice. Uh, got married, had a kid, found out he's from space. His brother was bad. He killed his brother, but died in the process. Learned more karate in the afterlife. Came back to life to fight other people from his home planet. He beat them up. Then he, then all of his boys died. So to go to the planet where the Dragon Balls are from to fight the baddest dude in the universe, Frieza, which he did by becoming the legendary Super Saiyan. He came back a couple years later. Uh, the future's fucked because some Trunks comes back to the future, talks about androids, uh, trying to prevent it. Uh, they kind of do, but like these androids are different. And there's an android named Cell who sucked up all the other androids, and no one can stop Cell right now. <sighs> Woo! I can finally Ooh. exhale. Because you did it, Aaron. Thank you. You did that. You did the dang thing. The future is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> future bad. F- future bad. Future bad. Android's bad. Um, I guess I better throw away my phone because it's an Android device. <laughs> Trunks didn't come back and say, Apple has ruined the future. There are two iPhones, Goku. <laughs> they kill everyone ios 18 and 17 (laughs) wait i don't remember an apple watch (laughs) i dr tim apple turned myself into a phone to defeat you goku (laughs) not a steve jobs oh shit it should have been steve jobs no, no you know what it's dragon ball tim apple a hundred percent makes sense. <laughs> you were you one and done, baby. Well, we're not one and done with Kame housekeeping because we've got one last thing uh, that we got to do. And that's where I tell you, the listener, that Aaron and I watch two different versions of the same episode. I watch the English dub while Aaron watches the Japanese language English subtitle version because comparing and contrasting is fun. We like to see what's different between the two episodes. There might not be anything. There might be a ton of things. Um, You got to keep listening to find out. (laughs) But we're going to give you a freebie because, Aaron, we got to get to the first thing that's usually different, which is the title. And I'm going to give you the English title for this week's episode, which is episode 166 of Dragon Ball Z. What is the tournament? I think you meant, what is the tournament? (laughs) You take turns, but there's no mint. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, there's a tournament going on. (laughs) It's going on outside, Jerry. I don't know what to do. over there? (laughs) I'm entering the tournament, Jerry. (laughs) (laughs) We both got there so quick. (laughs) We wanted to... (laughs) Costanza, the Krillin of his verse. He would, uh, he would 100%. Do you see the cash prize? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jerry, it's about the cash prize. It's not about the joy of fighting. <laughs> there are people who can fly entering the tournament, George. <laughs> oh, flying. I gotta get I gotta do that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I live in your capsule for a while, Jerry? <laughs> yeah, Jerry's like, what are you doing? He's He's I'm gravity training, Gary, Jerry. <laughs> that yeah, I think that's the extent of our side field knowledge. I think that's it. Um, Mr. Well, I guess Peterman, you'd be my mind. <laughs> Mr. Peterman. All right, there we go. That's the last one yeah. I had. Uh, Newman, <laughs> and then so my title is uh, for the Japanese language, uh, roughly translated for episode 166 of Dragon Ball Z. The title is A Final Battle Closes In on Goku The Mystery of the New Tenkaichi Tournament. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. They're really, they're really getting your goat with this, with this title being like, guys, there's a Goku in this one. (laughs) Goku's heavily (laughs) featured. He's here. He's here. Um, and now, yeah, let's get, let's get right into it. Um, I will say my overall note for this episode is like some of the best animation for 
a setup episode that I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Like a lot of detail goes into this episode. There's a famous gif that everybody points to. And, and I say everybody, I'm talking about the anime boomers in the room. <laughs> We're like, this is what 2D animation used to be. And it's where we see Trunks de-transforming from mm -hmm. uh, Super Saiyan to regular. And it feels like every strand of hair is animated as it like slowly flows back to his uh, incredible middle part. Yeah, he, he got Ghibli hair there for a second as he's... Mm -hmm. Going back to just regular trunks. Yeah. Um, uh, he does get, get so mad of... that. <laughs> yes, please, <laughs> please, say, please. He gets, yeah. He gets so mad that he just blows up <laughs> or blows <laughs> everything up around him. I I wrote my notes like this is power frustration at its peak. Like. He. What? <sighs> look, uh, look, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little lewd here. Trunks was edging during that entire fight. <laughs> Couldn't couldn't put his full force out there, and then mm -hmm. phew, wrong place, wrong time, Trunks. <laughs> You're never good more than me, Trunks. Curse you, Cell! <laughs> I'm too young to goon. Ah! <laughs> I. So I think this is a historic moment because I believe this is the first reference to gooning <laughs> that we put into the podcast. Surprise! It took this long. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> also, gotta admit, I'm like half aware of what that means. It's, I, <laughs> I don't know the particulars. It seems like it's tantric sex for lonely people. <laughs> and hey, look, get you got to train somehow. <laughs> Whatever yeah. works. Yeah, stay hungry. We devour. <laughs> That's what the uh, rock was singing about, right? I think so. I just, I just picturing the rock alone in his iron palace, <laughs> gooning. Mister the Rock, you're needed on set. <laughs> Sorry, brother, I'm gooning. <laughs> oh, my mistake. <laughs> Moving on, moving on. We've got okay. We're done. Do we get it out of our system? I, I don't <laughs> know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, because there is a there is a goon that arrives, <laughs> and that goon is Trunks' dear old dad, Vegeta, um, who is as condescending as can be, saying to Trunks, "Of course you couldn't beat Cell with your power." Um, I I thought this was like important because Krillin is about to like spill the beans, being like Trunks is even stronger than you now, Vegeta, and Trunks saves his father from the embarrassment. Still, now if that's not loyalty, I don't know what is. Misplaced <sighs> as it may be, Trunks is still a daddy's boy. Just a you know a little codependency, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. perhaps. But like, is Vegeta gonna believe Krillin? Of course not. No. Who would? I'm telling the truth. He's more powerful than you, Vegeta. Ha ha ha. And I guess you have a nose too. I, it's just, I mean, it's, it's hidden. It's inner. I have an any <laughs> there. I got there. I had to cycle through the terms, but I, but I've established it. Next thing you're going to tell me is that green man Piccolo doesn't eat food. He doesn't. He just drinks water, and I I think that's why he meditates so much. Oh, of yes, of course. And and finally, you'll say Yajirobe was the one that defeated me those years ago. Wait, I, mm, no. No one, no one can believe that. Ha! But now you're finally making sense. Look, Trunks is more powerful than you. What if you fought? Huh? Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, Trunks. Fight your dad <laughs> real quick. Saiyan sons are barred from fighting their fathers. He knows this as well as I. Trunks is just shaking his head no, like <laughs> be doing the like cut it out symbol. Mm -hmm. Krillin can't help but press the issue. Mm -hmm. Come on, beat up your dad. 
Huh? What are you whispering over there? <laughs> uh, nothing. Trump's is a fad. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying Trunks is a lad. I also agree. He's he's one of the boys. Can we make him a Z fighter officially? Vegeta, what do you say? Fine. He can be in whatever boys club you want him to be. <laughs> cool. I'm not yeah. a part of any of it. I stand alone like the cheese. I'm just surprised you know that Earth song. <laughs> that Earth song for children. Bulma plays it for the baby all the time. That's why I'm never there. <laughs> the it's music? that and Baby Shark. <laughs> do, do, okay, do, I get do, that. Do. Oh, now I'm singing it. <laughs> baby Shark is the only album we have left in the future. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Probably and scene. <laughs> that, that is the darkest the future has gotten. Mm-hmm. The baby shark is the only song. Oh no! People still play it. People, People they still gotta play it. You're listening to Pirate Radio, where the androids are trying to kill us all. Here's your number one hit, Baby Shark. <laughs> Ooh, the dubstep remix. <laughs> Oh, all of our futures lead to dubstep. <laughs> the sound of the future. It is. S- look, Skrillex, just run for president, please. I need a drum and bass president. <laughs> That's a president I can go to a festival with? I mean, is that not going to be a debate question? <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who? It's just all TikTok quest interview questions. <laughs> President Biden. 60- Go for it. I was gonna say President Biden. How much do you pay for rent and can we see it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing? Huh. In how many bedrooms? Interesting. President Biden, what are your deal breakers in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> no aviators jack that's number one <laughs> is that it biden look moving on boom uh real quick stop in the tower yeah Bulma's like won't someone please go save trunks and then piccolo just like gets mad um and was like so like like getting mad because like i'm assuming he's mad because Bulma can't doesn't have karate vision and can't yep. See her since the fight. Tells her what's going on. And then immediately he's like, I'm going to train as soon as Goku gets out of that chamber. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it's going to be like a uh, a line outside of a pop-up shop here in New York. It's going to be around the block. Everybody trying mm-hmm. to get in the time chamber pop-up. I hear Kai Sinat's going to be there. <laughs> giving out sensu beans <laughs> and weighted clothes. I mean, I, I might stand in line for that. I, I probably would, too. <laughs> uh, but back on the ground, um, Trunks is like, all right, we've got some time now. I'm going to get back in the time chamber so I can get stronger. Vegeta's like, no, you won't. I'll be the one to do it. I'm the only one who can beat Cell. Me, me, me. It's all about me. Just broken record, this guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're, get, we're getting it. We're getting like, but again, this is as far as like egos go. It's crazy that Vegeta's hasn't been broken by what, what just happened. Mm-hmm. Like no humility, no humbleness at all. Um, which is just, I mean, I hate to say it, but it's great. I love it. I love him. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's my angry little man. <laughs> Every Z fighter is stupid in a certain way. <laughs> yeah. And this is Vegeta's stupidity of like, well, that last loss didn't count. <laughs> it, like in mine, he's just like, I just need one more day in the time chamber and I'm pretty in, you know what? Then I got this thing locked up. <laughs> <laughs> one more year of training. That's all. That's all he takes. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And then as we're talking about like who's going to fight in the tournament, Android 16 is still alive. And I think Trunks even says, like, looks at him, he's like, you're still alive? Um, and 16's like, I wish to fight with you. Please take me to someone who can heal me or fix me. Um, mm-hmm. Trunks is like, no way. Androids, you've ruined my future. I I won't do it. Um, then Krillin steps up to 16, and they do, like, a little musical sting just before Krillin speaks. Okay, I I vaguely remember this. I, it, we might be on the same page, but continue. It's wholly unnecessary. But Krillin then is just like, you know, Trunks, uh, things don't have to happen the same way they did in your timeline. And then is like, I'll take you to somebody who can help. So Krillin puts 16 on his back. And then we get a cut to the time chamber. Okay. This is where this Oof. episode Oh, go for it, go for it. Oh, oh, just before that. Um, I think in mine, it's a slight different, not that like, it's not as much of a gamble because Krillin's just like, look, uh, it seems like your androids were all evil. These guys aren't all bad. Even, even 17 and 18 weren't all bad. Like, they had some good in them. Hmm. That, that's kind of his argument is that like, these guys are clearly different. You know, I think we yeah. can trust them. Also, A16, just when 18 comes back, <laughs> make sure you mention this. Uh, of course, I will mention that you, the little bald man, put me on your shoulders. And I didn't grunt when I carried you. <laughs> it, it was, you're not heavy at all to me. I will remind her that you are very strong. You're a strapping little boy, man. <laughs> Maybe take out the little boy part. Little child, man. <laughs> okay. Just, just strapping man. Strapping baby boy, man. <laughs> strap, Maybe. strap, strap, strapping baby boy, man. I'm getting young. Each time I'm getting, you're using a younger and younger word for a human. Teeny tiny itty bitty. <laughs> Polka dot foreheaded baby boy, man. <laughs> Singing purple people here. What? They're here. (laughs) Purple people eater was the other song that lasted in the future. (laughs) (coughs) Yeah. Yeah. They fly off. Um, Okay. Chamber. Yes. Go. Yes. Oh, boy. Just two super Saiyans. Going ham, just clashing, zipping around. Uh, they they play with the actual, like, the lore of the time chamber being, like, hot one minute, mm-hmm. cold the next. So they're flying through flames. They look great with their bleach blonde hair. I had that kind of bleach blonde hair once, and it does make you stronger. <laughs> I Get lifted up bus. <laughs> After bleaching my hair, uh, but I again, this it. is this is more of the uh, the production value in this episode because this fight did not need to go this hard. Um, it ends in a giant explosion uh, with Goku carrying Gohan on his back. Gohan's got that new, very cool haircut. Mm-hmm. Um, the training seems to be going fine. Gohan needs a break. Is pretty concerned with like his dad not leaving him behind on the training. Gohan's like, I believe that we can do it, dad, you and me, we can beat cell. Um, Goku does some of his best parenting here. Cause it's, there's like a pause in mine. And I don't know if there's like anything that alludes to him, not like lying to his son, but being the mm-hmm. encouraging father you would want in this scenario because he takes a beat and then goes, of course, we're going to do it, son. You and me. But you need a little break. And that's fine. Like, and just in my notes, I was like, this is Goku parenting at his finest. We forget that he got a full, at least a full year to be mm-hmm. with his son and to do what he loves doing. Um, and, you know, it, it feels good. Feels good. Goku's pretty good at this. 
<clears throat> I, I, my version of that, I feel like is just a little subtler, more subtle, um, where it is Goku, you know, he brings Gohan to bed. Gohan like wakes up, you know, after being, you know, uh, passing out. He's like, okay, go sleep. And then Goku starts to leave. Gohan's like, well, well what are you going to do? And Goku's like, well, I'm going to train some more. And then Gohan's like, oh, I'll train more too. And then like he kind of grabs it off his arm. And that's when Goku's like, all right, I'll stop too. Uh, I'll stop training for today. So kind of this like, like know, knowing he, knowing what's best for Gohan and sacrificing what Gohan loves the most, what <laughs> Goku loves the most, fighting and training yeah, and being away from his children. That that's to be that's with really, his children. That's interesting. That it seems like <clears throat> Western audience may need may need Goku to be more of a father figure um, for this to like to hit emotionally in that way. Because yeah, it would have been a different scene if Goku turned without like really saying anything to Gohan or acknowledging his concerns. Um, <clears throat> but that's all we get because we take a little break literally and go to commercial hey everybody it's me ken i use she and him pronouns uh and i'm here to talk about clowns the anime slash manga Kengen Ashra. I am ready to talk about some Animorphs. Roma, have you ever heard of the <gasps> art movement of Dadaism? Interest in a musician group called Exociety? It's Yu Gi Oh! The brain worm that I would like to deliver you to you today is um, Gundam and or Gunpla. I became aware of a series of novels that people told me about called Disc World. Hey, Louis, what are we talking about? Aragon. Uh... Aragon. Welcome to the Hyperfixation, where we invite our friends onto our show to tell us about what they're excited about so we can acquire an approximate knowledge of many things. New episodes out every Wednesday morning and up to five days early for patrons. Normalize info dumping and learn something new with us today, thanks to the Moonshot Network. Okay, we are back. And we are at Capsule Corp. Vegeta touches down. Uh, Bulma's mom is there. Oh, hey, mm -hmm. Vegeta. Uh, who's your friend? He's handsome, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little uncomfortable. Grandma hitting on you. Yeah. Grandmas call everyone a handsome young man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't know. When it comes to Pan, she, she's, <laughs> <laughs> she is not, she's not subtle. No. <laughs> Look at uh look, I know it's a new season of MILF Manor. <laughs> so here we go. In celebration of that, here we go. It is is MILF Manor a kind of tournament arc in and of itself? I've never seen the show to know like the format of it. I mean, our, our I know our friend and semi boss, Andrew Sherman. Oh yes, does a podcast does a rewatch podcast on MILF Manor. Uh with his own mother. <laughs> then so I'll get, go there. Look, I'll yeah, go there to get all my my insight into this world. For MILF Manor information. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta talk to Vamp. Dr. Sherman. <laughs> yeah, Vamp real quick. I'm gonna look up the name of the fucking I forget the actual name, but hold on. Cause I gotta get up on that, and maybe Andrew will do another one on F Boy Island. Um, because mm -hmm. I need to know what those are about. Um, because I, I need more reality TV in my life. Who doesn't look, I've, uh, I'm back on top chef. They just finished the latest season. It's all good stuff. Love top chef. Cause it's not just randos. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, Mil Mild Mannered is the name of the podcast, by the way. All right. So I've got homework. You all have homework. Mm -hmm. We're going to listen to Mild Mannered, uh, Andrew Sherman, 
and his mother's MILF Manor recap podcast. But I was reminded that Top Chef, it's the best cooking competition show just out there, like hands down. Yeah. It's wonderful. I'm tearing up at the end because they won't work so hard, Vince. They do. They work. They work very hard. It's mm-hmm. like I what is it? Great, great British, great British baking show is also very good for that same reason. Um, whereas like nailed it is just fun to watch people fail. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like best. you and me for real, for real. They don't know how to <laughs> fucking crack an egg. It's insane. <laughs> It's insane. And I don't know if there's been a new season, but it's gotten like a ton of spin off international spin offs. Mm-hmm. Uh because apparently nobody can bake. <laughs> <¿Qué es este? laughs> we <laughs> a lot of spitting in the French. <laughs> I at Castle Corp, I like like Krillin and 16 touchdown. I love Dr. Brees rolling up on a fucking bicycle with a cigarette. Yeah, it's like, man. oh, hey, Bulma's on, <clears throat> her, on her way. That's what she told me. Am I wrong? Am I am I bad if I say like bicycle and a cigarette? That's Dutch as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I can't confirm or deny whether that's Dutch as hell. The Dutch. <laughs> Would you like to respond? Look, we'll we'll give the we'll give the Dutch a week to respond. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have two minutes for your rebuttal. Nederland, uh, get back to me. And remember, I'm on your side. Oranje boa. I, I do know a little bit of Dutch. Ooh. I mean, bicycles, yes. Yes. Smoking in Europe, hell yeah, hell, hell yeah, yeah, brother. <laughs> so maybe. <clears throat> uh, I think that we see. Roshi, Roshi, Poir, Oolong, Chi Chi, Yamcha, Chao Tzu, Chao Tzu, Chao Tzu, yes, Chao Tzu. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a lot of folks. So they all come down, um, and then Chi Chi immediately asks where Gohan is and is mad that uh, Gohan is gone. It's still training. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and then, go ahead. Yeah, Trunks fills everybody in on Cell, saying like we're gonna have another tournament. <clears throat> um, while this is happening on one side of the room, Doctor Briefs has sixteen on like a medical table and is working on him, which I found just like, what is this room designed for? Is this some kind of surgery theater? Um, it's it's, yeah. it's multi purpose room. Like your local elementary. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true rumpus room. They have assemblies and can play basketball whenever mm-hmm. they want. <laughs> While the school play is going on. <laughs> and a science fair in the back corner. Yeah. Um, I don't really get this bit. Like Yamcha is the most cocky right now. He goes, oh, yeah, tournament. I could really clean up in another tournament. This sounds great. Uh, to which, like, Oolong, right on time, cuts him off and is like, just don't get another hand through the chest. Oh, that was so soon. So soon. That was, at this point, three days ago? I was going to say, I, w- I was going to ask if we could get like a timeline check because of how long they've been in the time chamber and how many episodes we've been. But three days sounds three, right. F- yeah, three or four days. Not yeah. long. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yamcha. Long. Savage. <laughs> oink, oink. Um, in mine, not so savage, but very factual. He's like, Remember that you lost every tournament you entered, though? <laughs> Again, Oolong snaps on it just right there. Because, yeah, Yamcha, where is this coming from? You've been... No one's around. He's like, all right, let me check who's here. No one that can beat me up. Time to be cocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I was trying to impress Ponchi. Maybe, maybe. 
maybe he's like, well, I, I thought about this too. Yamcha's haircut sucks. <laughs> but did but did Is he it do it to look like yeah, it's the, the gone hair? Yeah, he's got gone hair, but mm-hmm. did he do it to look more like Vegeta? I just thought of that. No! Yamcha, no! Oh no. Yeah, Yamcha is exhibiting extreme beta behavior. <laughs> Yamcha, you're being look, I don't like to use these terms, but you need a more sigma mindset. <laughs> Bar, what does that even mean? I'm an alpha. I'm a wolf, remember? My wolf fang fist? We all, I know. (laughs) We all remember how it doesn't work. When's the last time you used that, huh? Um, I, I had to, I had to cut out some stuff. Like I had to cut out some shapes for baby trunks. (laughs) I used it to cut some stars out of paper. You, have Yamcha, you're babysitting for your ex? No, it's not like that. Um, Is she Bobo paying was in you? A real, she's in a real bind. Go on. She said she had to go, like, watch her son from the future. And she couldn't get a babysitter on short notice. And, you know, I, I was around, so, of course. You gotta, you gotta get over this, man. I'm over it. Trust they, me. No, the haircut. What do you, you mean? You want me to call you Vamcha, <laughs> the prince just, of the desert? But I have, I have the desert prince. I, I was a desert bandit. Yeah, were. Come on, come on, Poir. You, you, you're registered to vote now. You're not a bandit. <laughs> Your taxes are I right Dom, over there. I need Dog President to get another term. <laughs> You're for Dog President now. <laughs> and see, Par Par so upset. <laughs> this Dog President endorsement oh. from Yacha. Uh, he's, he's been listening to Joe Rogan. <laughs> Let's yeah. Let's continue to leave dog pre- the analogy for dog president uh, amorphous. <laughs> <laughs> we don't um, because we need apparently a refresher on the tournament, right? It's, it's been a minute. It's been a hundred and sixty six episodes since we've had one, <laughs> and it's bar- it's been like many many years since one's been held. And then Roshi just get, basically tells everybody the the Goku tournament story, like starting with the 21st tournament. Um, tells him how Goku lost each time, finally won against Piccolo. Um, during this, Did- Vegeta is like, ha, no wonder Kakarot joined the tournament. Seems easy. <laughs> Something like that. I think, um, yeah, mine was, what a low level fight. No wonder everyone could compete. Gotcha. Huh? Bless you. <laughs> God damn. Geez. Here's a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this guy? Poor. Wait, how does how does Vegeta? There we go. That's a whispering Vegeta. Poor. Yeah. You got to do something about your boy. I don't know. Might not be my boy for long. <laughs> oh, you're going to leave his ass? Chouts is pretty cool. <laughs> I know he's so cool. I hope me and Chaozu get some one-on-one time soon. I, that's what I'm angling for. Some now that Tien's out of the picture, <laughs> dude's really spreading his wings. Wait, is is are we just doing the Bachelor? <laughs> Don't they talk about getting one-on-one time? I want to take him to the fantasy suite. <laughs> oh, I hope I get a rose this week. <laughs> I'm not ready to go home. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, I need Mm -hmm. I need I need some fan animation of Vegeta (laughs) doing the bachelor. He's the bachelor or he is one of the No, he's 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 in the cast. He's like I can't believe all these Chads are here. Chad A, Chad (laughs) West. 
and Chad D. <laughs> Just get the yeah, all the all the single guys from Dragon Ball. Put them in there. Mm-hmm. Vegeta mm-hmm. technically single, not married, not married. Mm-hmm. Oh, that big reveal on hometowns <laughs> when Vegeta <laughs> takes her back. It's like, <laughs> well, it's uh, it's just space, <laughs> empty space. Uh, told the producers they didn't listen. No, this is this is nice. Th- this is nice. Um, <laughs> that one chunk is where I went to school. <laughs> oh, was it like a charter school? I went to a charter school. It was. It was private. Oh, how come we look, didn't get into that anytime we talked? I, I look, I'm a little embarrassed about my past and how much. Look, I'm a prince. I'm royalty. <laughs> Now's the time to tell you. <laughs> I hope you don't think less of me. A prince? I've never dated a prince before. One of the other guys is a um, a firefighter. Do you guys like have the same job responsibilities? (laughs) Actually, that sounds, you know what? That sounds better, honestly. That sounds cool as hell. Don't sell yourself short, Vegeta. Here's a rose. Yes. Bulma. (laughs) I can't believe I made it to the next round. (laughs) He calls Bulma. She's the one that wants him on there. Of course, of course, you, Palma's not going to, yeah. She's not going to stand in the way of that. Merch mm-hmm. The whole time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's playing the long game. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But someone who's not playing any games, Aaron, is Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi's Correct. like, oh, I'm so glad there's going to be a tournament. And everybody's like, what? What are you talking about, Chi-Chi? Why would you be glad that Cell wants to fight everybody? And Chi-Chi's like, there's no killing allowed in a martial arts tournament, so Cell will have to follow the rules. I thought that was pretty good. Chi Chi's mm-hmm. been involved in a tournament once before. Yeah, she knows she knows the rules, and I hadn't thought about that. Of course, now Cell's gonna have to follow the rules. Who sets those rules? We don't know yet. But. <laughs> Did go? Do we come to find out that Gohan broke those rules? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Uh oh! Don't tell, don't tell Chi Chi, <laughs> because she doesn't even want Go Gohan fighting in the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, Trunks is like, great. Now, like me, Vegeta, Goku, and Gohan can train some more to beat Cell. We got to surprise him with our Super Saiyan power. Uh, and Chi Chi's like, uh, 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 not my little boy. No way. I said he could train with his dad. And his dad can find the tournament, but that little boy, when he gets back, he's hitting the books. And then we get like a flashback to the con- the conversation I'm putting in air quotes. Yeah. That she had with Goku. <laughs> yeah, she was like, Goku promised. And it's just, I think the flashback is like, yeah, I wanted to be a scholar because Earth is at peace. So if he just learned how to fight, there'd be no use for that. And then Goku goes, I guess you're right. Technically no promise is what I'm saying. And there's no promise in mind, even though that scene plays out a little different. Um, All right. It might go something like this. It might go something a little like this. Uh, But Chi Chi is like, our boy's going to be a scholar. Um, Think about it, Goku. He can help more people if he becomes a scholar oh. than by fighting. And Goku, again, does not promise anything. Goes, I uh, guess I should throw away those training weights I got. And that's how the scene ends. So, like, no promise was made. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if, like, we get a third opinion if Kai is any different. If Kai and Goku's like, I promise chi chi yeah. pinky promise <laughs> i swear on this stack of bibles <laughs> here notarized you wanted me to get a job chi chi well i'm a notary public now, <laughs> now i'm that- making all the documents legal 
that that would be a, a driving school arc to remember. Piccolo mm-hmm. and Goku get their notary's license. <laughs> I just like the big pen thing that I push down on paper. It's called the a seal. stamp, Goku. Huh? Oh. Didn't you Piccolo's read the been handbook? A... Piccolo, you've been a notary for years. Of course. It's required. Bubba required. wouldn't let me stay on the lookout without it. I need someone to legalize my documents, and it's too much trouble to go down to earth for it. (laughs) My will, my mortgage, my deed. Stamp. Stamp. (laughs) Thank you. You know, for funsy, all my my books in my library. Uh, Stamp, stamp, stamp. This is some hard training, There's one. There's one. (laughs) Mm-hmm. This this is just me actually needing some stamps. It's not some secret training. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, no Mr. Miyagi thing going on here. But I've been waxing on these stamps. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that wanted the wax kit. I just thought it'd make it more official. Mm-hmm. You have been sealing all my envelopes, which I appreciate because the P also works for Popo. See, I'm I'm thinking the long game. (laughs) Like Chi-Chi. Just like (laughs) Chi-Chi. Let's see what she's up to. (laughs) End scene, end scene. (laughs) End scene. At at the end of that flashback, one, oh my God, this is so funny. (laughs) Cause she tells all the Z boys, You'd all inspire Gohan to be one of your delinquent pals. And then they're they're all offended that they were called delinquents. And Roshi, Roshi like gets the last word in on the scene. He's like, am I a delinquent too? I don't think I understand. I guess delinquent must carry some, some real weight over in Japan at the time. Because in this, in, in the English version, she's like, and I won't let go on become part of your little gang. And they're equally offended. And again, Roshi's like, am I in the gang? <laughs> blood in, blood out. We doing it that way. They're not like us. They're not like us. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think Krillin can... Hey, can Krillin sing that song? <laughs> Which we'll Z fighter can sing that song? <laughs> Everybody just looks up to the lookout. Pickles. <laughs> yeah, Pickles going so out. fucking hard today. <laughs> he does it five times on the lookout. Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. <laughs> <laughs> the fact, I ju- just to just to touch on the cultural rev- relevance mm-hmm, of they not mm-hmm. like us. This song is never going to leave the public consciousness. Just pop-up concerts. Kendrick getting swarmed out in L.A. Like, he can't even be outside because people are just shouting. <laughs> Pedophile. All, like, it's crazy. It's crazy that a diss track has gained, like, not since, Hey, Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. Has there been a diss track <laughs> with so much cultural cachet? There... <clears throat> You're right. I, I don't. I can't think of a bigger one. Except it came maybe. out in April. <laughs> it's almost July. There is. Um, someone, someone posted something about how like it's the equivalent of Fleetwood Mac in one of their albums because one of their albums is just a bunch of diss tracks about. The other members of the band. Oh, sh- and like oh, shit. forcing the like you force the other members of the band to play diss tracks about them. <laughs> that's that's cruel. That's cruel. Fleet That'd be like if Kendrick got like an AI Drake to mm-hmm. rap a verse. <laughs> I, I mean, look, Drake Drake wrapped himself into a corner as well. He has a line about it, it's it's bad. Drake just. Just go away for a while. Still, he yeah, he's been you, he's been quiet. He's been quiet. You lost. It's fine. You, he, he lost. You really lost. You, oh God, you're back to Canada. 
Hey, look, with all that Z Fighter nonsense out of the way, we got to get to the real star of the show, the organizer of this tournament, Cell, um, finding the perfect spot. Now, I, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the the son of a real estate agent. Now, I know location, mm-hmm. location, location. Um, and th- I guess this is a fine one. Um, I was hoping that we might get a little reference to like the farmer from the Saiyan saga because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they show us a farmer, they show us a little farm, but dude does not have time to get a shotgun even if he wanted to because Cell clear cuts that son of a bitch in, in <laughs> seconds. Blown up off camera. Mm-hmm. But there's but there's no way around it. Mm-hmm. He he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Farmer heaven. Farmers <laughs> farmers heaven only dot com. <laughs> King Yemma was forced to create a farmers only <laughs> in other world. There's so many. Back then in Dragon Ball World, mm-hmm. they're they're dropping left and right. Anytime bad guys show up, they're getting I mean, after what Cell just did on Earth, imperfect Cell. Gotta admit, a lot of farmers lost their <laughs> lives. No one wants to join the FFA because they know the fate that awaits them. Hence all the government subsidies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thanks, dog president. <laughs> He's got my vote. <laughs> dog president's got my vote, too. <laughs> I, I know that was more Yajirobe than Yamcha. But yes, but same boat. Safe boat. We we know how Yajirobe's voting. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, mm-hmm. as Cell continues to construct the floor, he shows off some telekinetic, <laughs> telepathic powers. Are we ac- accepting that Cell can move things with his mind, Aaron? Or is this just one of those, it's key, baby, deal with it? Like, is that key manipulation or is that tel- telepathy? Hmm. Other Z fighters have telepathy. I, uh, 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 I mean, it can because it's a uh, uh, Chaozu again, the cool right. Z fighter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He has telekinesis. That's right. Um, you can move those bowels. <laughs> move those bowels. Move those ballots. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he, he loves elections. <laughs> Are we finding that the Z fighters all love elections? <laughs> they just they love democracy. <laughs> the um I guess it's a, a specialized form of key manipulation. I guess we could call it cuz okay. he he does have he didn't specifically say outright, but he's got to have the cells of Chao Tzu. That's right. And, and I guess he also has because they, because Doctor Giro got all their data from following them to space too, right? And when Frieza showed up on Earth, no, that's it. Mm-hmm. When Frieza got, showed up on Earth, yeah, he got that data from Frieza. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did he get DNA from Frieza? Does Cell have a I little Frieza so. in him? I thought so. Okay, then I think, then yeah, he could. It could be both. Could be both. He's uh, just, <clears throat> but the precision. Yeah, it's pretty just cool. landscaping he's doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chip and Joanna Gaines <laughs> shaking in their boots. <laughs> the whole Magnolia network's gonna crumble because of Oh this my guy. god. <laughs> uh Discovery Discovery's got a new darling and his name is Cell. <laughs> he gets his own sub channel in the Max app. <laughs> Cell cells. Oh my God! It writes itself. It's right there. <laughs> Are you ready to see your dream home? Y- yeah, yeah, we're ready. All right, here it is. <laughs> In your dream, still. <laughs> the show ends the same way every time. People keep signing up. 
Oh man, what, what people won't do to get on uh, Just, HGTV. They still they still have to pay for the house. They're not getting a free house. We all know this. <laughs> Oh, What's now the- I just want to see Cell selling Sunset. Mm-hmm. A lovely Tudor style here in L.A. <laughs> you can't really find these. You can't find yourself after I blow you up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, the end is like, I'm still going to rate you, you five stars. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blow or a suck. You You pick. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh. but he he makes a he makes in mine he does an almost perfect recreation of the tournament ring. Uh, a little bigger, he says, than the old one. Hmm. Brag. Um. But that's it. Then he's like, now to find a television station. Yeah, he ends with a. Uh, Time to get the word out. <laughs> time to time to post on X. <laughs> R slash tournament. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll get on the Sparking Zero subreddit. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to crash Evo <laughs> and announce this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be at PAX West. <laughs> Come to my booth. Sell's <coughs> like, the just... best character in Fighter Z. Changed my mind. Sell, are you just doing cons now? Are you signing autographs? I'll be at Gamescom in Frankfurt. <laughs> Come to Fat Expo, New Orleans. <laughs> Me, half the cast of The Walking Dead, but not the actual famous ones. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty much how this episode... I mean, that's not pretty much. That's how this episode ends. Mm -hmm. Cell flying off into the sunset, looking for a camera, going, going to any downtown area where young people are to get featured on a TikTok to talk about the tournament. <laughs> He's ready to ask people how much they pay in rent. <laughs> Can they see it? <laughs> what a deranged thing. I'd run I away. <laughs> They're cute. Maybe. I don't know. It might be it. It might just be they cute, and that's how they get away with everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep. Also, that's I'm going to hold my phone like it's a microphone, because that's how <laughs> microphones work. Yeah, that's how we do it. <laughs> Let me hold a lav mic in my hand so I look like a giant doing an interview. Are you 20-something and drunk? <laughs> Haktui. We got a hot, we got a hot Tui to the end of this episode. <laughs> we got to spit on this ending. <laughs> Get it? We can't. We can't reference this now. It'll be gone. We can't uh, reference be this gone. next week. It'll. It, it'll be done. We, we got it in there. I'm glad we did. I, I'm really glad mm-hmm, we did. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm. I'm glad that we got through episode 166 of Dragon Ball Z. What is this? What is the tournament? We still got. I've, I'm gonna say a bunch of episodes before we get to it. Probably there's there's like there's eight days before it happens. Yeah, eight whole days, eight days of whatever combination of filler and setup that we're gonna get. And I'm here for all of it because you know who's coming down the pipeline? Who's coming down mm-hmm. the pike? Oh, Hercule Satan, baby. That's it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Funniest Dragon Ball character of all time. <laughs> warm, warm those pipes up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to be some gravelly guys here shortly. While we warm our pipes up, uh, we thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all the patrons. Uh, if you like this show, tell a friend about it. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a like, a comment. Uh, follow us on all the social medias at Kame House Party. 
Um, we are also on Twitch. So head on over to twitch.tv slash Kame House Party where you can find me uh, doing stuff in the shadow of the Erd Tree because it's 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 from soft time, baby. We got another <laughs> game and I got a lot of time it's, and it's, I'm having a lot of fun. It's a month of it, probably. <laughs> probably Buckle a full up. month. You're gonna you're gonna watch me die a lot, but you're gonna have fun doing it. Um we are also part of the Moonshot Network. We talked about um mild mannered Andrew Sherman's MILF Manor podcast. You should tune into all the other great podcasts over there mm-hmm, on the Moonshot mm-hmm. Network. We love being part of Moonshot. You'll love listening to all they have to offer. Um <clears throat> and in case you didn't uh, in case you missed it at the top of the show, we're sponsored by Tokyo Treat Company. So if you're into pop Japanese snacks, it kind of, they're delivered right to your home, no muss, no fuss, mm-hmm. you got to try out Tokyo Treat. Go to team.tokyotreat.com slash K-A-M-E. That's team.tokyotreat.com slash Kame. Use promo code K-A-M-E at checkout to get $5 off your first box. This month's box is a snack oasis in your summer. You're going to love it. I love it. Cookies and cream Kit Kats. Didn't know I needed them in my life. And I, <laughs> I'm afraid to let them all go. Um, anything else we got to plug? I, I think that's it. I think we're ready to get on out of here. We got, we got a tournament to get ready for. I got to, I got to prepare mm-hmm. and I got to go play more Elden Ring. Um, so whether you are, Whether you are careful, whether you're going to vote for Dog Robinette president, or <laughs> you're <laughs> finish it, uh, or you're hock to a ing, <laughs> or you're hock to a ing, your new tournament ring. <laughs> you gotta key keep fighting. Trunks is going back in that chamber to goon. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a new technique, Hawk Tua. <laughs> a year of edge. <laughs> Dad, can I go by myself, please? Let him go, Vegeta. He needs this. <laughs> and that's been notarized. 